we were just listening to Jerron talk about how he wasn't really recruited by Kansas uh, coming out of high school. Just curious, in your recruitment process, how much interest did you get from them when, when you were coming out? Oh, uh, yeah, kind of the similar story with Jerron. You know, my interest in KU and their interest in me uh, was very small. And, uh, you know, they did come to me after Kansas State had offered me. And, uh, but by then, you know, I was already set in stone on coming to Kansas State. So does that add to you extra motivation when you play them throughout your career? Yeah, definitely. And, uh, you know, growing up in Topeka and only being 30 minutes away from the university, um, you know, it's kind of just a respect thing, um, how Kansas State came out and offered me first uh, and had that trust and belief in me. And, uh, you know, kind of KU, you know, really not having that uh, was kind of a disappointment a little bit. But uh, at the end of the day, you know, Kansas State was a place I wanted to be at. So, yes, it does fire me up a little bit because um, just because, you know, they're only 30 minutes down the road and uh, the interest was very little. What do you see when you look at the offensive line and just the offense in general that you're going against this week? Yeah, well, they're, they lost um, – I don't know about the interior guys, but I know they um, graduated their two tackles. Uh, I think they're both seniors. And uh, so they have two returning ta or two new tackles at the left and right side. Um, that's always something that's very helpful as a defensive end is going out there and playing against someone with not much experience uh, just because it goes against, you know, how much experience we have as a D-line versus how much experience they have as an offensive line. Uh, I'm just very confident that we'll go out there and get the job done on Saturday. Appreciate it, Wyatt. Thanks. Thank you. Kels? I feel like a lot of teams might overlook KU given their record every year, but just because of y'all's rivalry and some of these recruitment stories you tell, does that make it kind of impossible for you guys to do that? Yeah, I'd say so. Um, you know, one thing about Kansas, I, I think they always play better on the road than they do at home, uh, especially here at Kansas State. You know, two years ago um, when – you know, we won 21 to set, or 21 to 18. You know, that was a close game, and some people still say that uh, they should have won that game. And uh, you know, we were in a tight spot and tough position, uh, but they came in here and they gave it. They gave it. You know, they're all for us. And uh, you know, no matter who's KU's playing, you know, we're the we're the most important game on the schedule for them every single year. And uh, when when they play us, you know, that's their Super Bowl and. They're just going out there and they're giving it all they have and they have nothing to lose against us. So we're going to get their best shot for sure. How do you feel like the defensive line has evolved this season from game one to where you are right now? Yeah, the thing about the defensive line is, uh, you know, look across the board and everyone's dis uh, disruptive, which is something that's, you know, so great. Um, I wouldn't say we have a single guy that's just a guy in there to fill gaps to stop the run. Um, you know, everyone's a great, a pretty good pass rusher. Everyone does good in the run game. Um, and everyone just knows their assignment. And that's the most important thing about the defense line is that all four of us, whoever's in the game, have to be on the same page doing the same thing. And that's something that we're always good at and something that we've, we've practiced well and practiced every single week. And uh, as long as we're on the same page, running the same stunts or the same pressures, and uh, we're going to get to the quarterback and hit him good. Flip side of the ball, is there an offensive lineman at K-State who's giving you a lot of trouble in practice? Yeah, obviously, you know, the same name comes up every time. Uh, you know, Josh Rivas, obviously, a very talented offensive guard. Um, I know he plays inside, but, um, you know, a few of us defensive ends play inside as well on third down. Uh, he's definitely the toughest offensive lineman to go against. You know, just a very talented person, uh, big, strong hands, big, tall guy, um, and obviously lots of experience, too. Uh, me and Josh came in together uh, to Kansas State, so – um, it's always been a battle between me and him, and not only me and him, but him and a lot of other guys as well. So it definitely makes us better as as the, the rest of the offense line does as well. Thanks, Wyatt. Appreciate it. Thank you. We'll do these last three raised hands, starting here with Arnie. Yeah, you talked about the defensive line across the board, but I know the coaches have made a, a special effort this year, I think, to, to increase the depth on, on the line. You've used a lot of people. Do you feel – that's helped you guys late in games. Uh, just the, the sheer number of people you're running in there and uh, maybe being fresher at the end of the game. Yeah, definitely a lot more better for us. Um, you know, that's the one thing, you know, the reason, the reason we've been playing so well on defense because, you know, we've been playing all four quarters for all 60 minutes where, you know, teams get tired, uh, teams start to shut down in the middle of the third quarter and don't finish the fourth quarter strong. Uh, so as long as, long as we have fresh bodies in there, 
Um, you know, the expectation for us on the defense side of the ball is to play hard, play 100%, and make sure everyone's running to the running to the football because um, that just helps so much with pursuit angles and, you know, cutback lanes and all that kind of stuff. So if you're in there, you know, you're pretty fresh. And, uh, you know, the expectation for, for you if you're between those white lines is to go full speed and, uh, you know, rotating not only us defensive ends, but, you know, the corners and linebackers as well, you know, helps out with that tremendously. You talked about the just the depth uh, and other aspects, but it seems like the pass rush, I think you've got a, three guys with two sacks. You're getting some push up the middle from – from Drew, do you feel like that's helping you? Maybe now there's some other guys emerging, Khalid and and Boo Massey, maybe that are maybe yeah, drawing a little bit of attention away from you. Yeah, and that's the one thing about defense line. You know, if you play together as a unit, you know, it just makes your your job so much easier. Um, you know, if one person's getting double teamed, it frees up another person on the other side of you, and uh, you know that's just one thing that's so good because. Uh, Drew Wiley is obviously very disruptive on the inside in the run and passing game. Um, so, you know, they obviously focus on him a little bit more, and that kind of frees up Eli Huggins a little bit. And, uh, you know, same scenario with us defensive ends a little bit. Uh, but like I said, you know, the greatest thing about, about us, you know, as up front as a defensive line, we just play hard and we always run to the ball. And, you know, you can't – you have no excuse for, you know, giving good, good, good effort. And, uh, you know, a team that gives good effort and defense that give, gives good effort – uh, is a dangerous defense, and that's just something that we have. Mitchell? Hey, Wyatt. Uh, knowing that you guys aren't going to have to play against Puka Williams, what, how does that kind of change the way that you're approaching this game? Uh, well, honestly, it doesn't change the way we approach the game at all. Um, obviously, everyone knows he, he was a very explosive, dynamic player who can make plays all the time. Um, you know, the last two years we played him, he rushed for under 100 yards. Uh, so, like I said, you know, the defense always steps up and does our thing. And um, uh, whether he's there or not, you know, our mindset and our approach this week at practice remains the same. Um, just staying gap discipline, uh, reading our run fits, and uh, taking off on the pass and hitting, hitting, hitting the quarterback and getting pressure on the quarterback. So, um, obviously, it does help us a little bit because he was a very good player, very talented player. Um, and that obviously helps us in a, in a big way. But uh, the way we approach this week and our mindset definitely stays the same. And you mentioned quarterbacks. Now we're still not exactly sure who it is that's going to be starting under center for KU. Um, what what kind of things are you uh, – how does – knowing that there's going to be three different dudes that could get the chance, how does that kind of change the way you're preparing for the game? Yeah, well, the freshman quarterback, um, he's definitely very athletic. Um, very similar to the rest of the Big 12 quarterbacks that we've played. Makes a lot of plays with his feet, very athletic in the pocket, jumps around uh, versus the two other older quarterbacks. You know, they're more uh, pocket passing quarterbacks. Uh, that definitely makes it a lot easier for a defense line to get sacks when, when uh, the quarterback's a pocket passer type of style, uh, just because you don't have to worry about the quarterback draws or the scrambles and all that kind of stuff. Last one here, Adam. Wyatt, is being 3-0 and in the Big 12 and at the top of the Big 12 standings and number being ranked number 20 in the country something you and your teammates talk about? Uh, no, honestly. Um, you know, that's the, whole, that's the whole thing. Coach Climbing tries to get the point across to us. Um, we can't talk about what we're ranked in the Big 12, what we're ranked nationally. We just have to worry about, you know, today and uh, how, how good – what we're going to do at practice today to make us better. And uh, we just take that day at a time. And I think that's why we've been so successful, you know, in the Big 12 uh, with three wins because, you know, we don't worry about Saturday. We don't worry about the outcome uh, or what we want the outcome to be the next day or on Saturday during game day. We just focus on one day at a time. We go out there and prepare 